Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Ergon Web. This is the Gamo Urban 22. I know there are several of you asking me when I'm gonna do more videos on it. And guys, I've actually had this one done for a little while. I just hadn't got to editing it yet. So this is the Gamma Urban 22, like I said, and it's got a BSA scope on it. This gun has actually been claimed by my husband. I don't know if I've willingly given it to him yet, but he loves it. Guys, if you wanna know more about the Gamma Urban, go check it out at www.pyramidair.com. I've done some pellet testing in it, guys. The last video I posted was Gamma pellets because it's a Gamma gun. Of course, I'm gonna check the Gamma pellets out in it first. Um, but next, I might have, should have saved these for last because don't we generally save the best for last? I don't know if they're the best yet because I have other pellets to test, but I was not surprised because it's JSB, guys. Is it even a question whether they'll shoot well or not? JSB pellets are awesome. And if you guys would like to check out any of the pellets on the table, go to www.pyramidair.com. If you guys are interested in recording your shots, go check out the phone scope at www.phonescope.com. I double set it. My bad. Those shots beautifully. Those were beautiful. These are the Hades 15.89 grain. Let's go for the target on the left.
that was awesome. Alright, we got the Diablo Monsters. These are 25.39 grain JSBs. Let's go for the target on the right. think this gun had a complaint about a single pellet. Oh, hold on. I'm wrong. There was one pellet and that is these ones. These are the jumbo beasts, the 33 grainers. They're huge and they wouldn't cycle in the mag. So you could probably still single shot it, which I should have tried and maybe still will. But as far as using the magazine, they will not cycle. So I didn't shoot these ones. That was the only complaint. The rest of them, guys, they're definitely a killer in the Urban 22. I don't think the group got any bigger than an inch and a half, maybe even two inches. I don't even think it went two inches. I really don't. So I'm going to say no bigger than an inch and a half. Most of the pellets were stacked right on top of each other. So as far as I'm concerned with the Gamo Urban and the JSB pellets, not picky at all. All they all shot beautifully. I almost didn't test these guys. I went inside to take all my JSB pellets and put them up and get some H&M Sports. And I saw these and the metal mags, which I'm getting ready to test those in a minute. And I said, oh, I need to try those ones out. And I am so glad I did. Good as the poly mags, but still not bad. I'm super pleased, guys. I am absolutely super pleased. I love a pellet gun that is not picky. So I love a gun that you can pretty much feed it anything and it shoots it well every time. So the Gamo Urban, guys, is one of those. It's one of my favorites, not just because it hasn't been picky so far. It's light, it's compact, it's powerful. What else could you ask for? So why was it a question, the Gamo Urban and JSBs? I have no idea at all. They're awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. JSB, whew, you guys have made some very awesome pellets. Gamo, you guys have made a very awesome PCP. Thank you both. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.